Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe. My name is Bas, and in this video, I'm going to show you a really cool new After Effects feature. So this feature is something that I've been wanting for years, and a lot of people uh, have, and it's a new update to the track mats. So um, when you want to, uh, let's create a text here. Let's call this test, and it's uh, black. It's fine. Oh, it's way too big. Ooh. Okay, like that. And uh, let's make this. Uh, color and what if I want this test text this text to only be visible within this white shape because now it's visible everywhere I want it to be masked in there. Of course, I can create a mask So create select my rectangle tool and create a mask So now it's only visible within this shape But if I move the shape the mask moves with it So what you did before is you did, had two things or you can uh, duplicate your shape layer so duplicate it put it above and then for the track match you can select that uh, shape layer that's above it and then it will just turn off and then now it's only visible within that shape so um, that was one option or the other option was a set mat effect so uh, you can go to help type in set mat channel set mat and then here and here you can uh, take mat from layer and let's call this layer number two so now it says only have this layer visible in layer number two in this effector. So now it does the same thing. But the problem with these things was that the set mat effect sucks. So if you pre-comp those, uh, these two things, and then you uh, click on this button and you move it around, things get weird and it sucks. So that, that didn't really work that well. And so let's delete it. And if you need to duplicate this layer, put it above and then go to this and track mat, then you have this extra layer. I would always like call it uh, matte layer and then put the color at none and matte it out so then it was fine but it's still you if you have like 20 of these layers you want to have sh in this shape you need to pre-compose them all and matte them all at once I don't know it sucked um, so there's a new uh, really easy um, function here um, the track matte option has switched to something different so if you click on it you can just select any shape you have in here so if I create more shapes here like this really easy and then I can select the track mat option here, and then I have all of these shapes available. It don't, doesn't have to be on top of the shape anymore. I can just select whichever shape I would like this text to be visible in. So let's go with uh, this one, with shape or layer number five. So go to layer number five, and there it is. So when it turns the layer off, you can just turn it back on, and it still works. So now it's only visible within that layer. And here you are, you can turn on or off the uh, invert. So now it's only visible outside of this layer. Um, so yeah, that's uh, a function that we've been as a you know, community have been asking for for years. So why hasn't this been done before? But doesn't matter. It's here now. It's really great. It's really quick. So it's a way better um, method of uh, masking and tracking. So you don't need to duplicate this layer. You could just use this shape layer as it is. It's still the, the same shape layer, but it's happened to be also matted. So. Uh, it's kind of the same effect as the set mat effect, but that sucked and this doesn't, so it's great. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.